She got $600,000 from a divorce and she blew it all. She spent it all. Seriously, that's trash. Lost all of it. Think of how hard that man had to work to get that money for her to just take it from him and waste it. Out of the divorce, I got $600,000. Um, the f Yes. Why? Um, that was part of our settlement. Um, so I could have taken more, but I didn't, which I'm kind of now regretting a little. Wait, why wow. could you have taken more and why didn't you? Um, well, I could have because if I were doing like a divorce with like 50-50 split, I would have gotten. Could you have done 50-50 split? I could have. So this was a pretty well-to-do person. Yes. So I don't know exactly no how much I would have. No, he tried to get me to sign a prenup and mm. then I didn't sign a prenup. And no. then he tried to get me to sign a postnup and I didn't sign a postnup. So he tried. He actually tried to get a prenup and she denied it. What? Did she know all along that she only married him partially for his money? Because she hasn't said anything about the man. She doesn't care. You know, it's nothing to do with the man. It's about the money she got and she could have gotten more. Chaos. She could have gotten more. So clearly this man had money. And her only regret is she didn't get more. Yo, wicked! Wow. You know, some would say some women love money to the point of it being evil the way they will try to get your money from you as a man. Oh! And imagine working so hard to have some pink haired chick come and just take so much of your money and wanted to take more. She wanted more, good God. What evil is this? I'm a gold digger burrowing in from the land of opportunists. We're getting close to Halloween. This is pure succubus vibes. <laughs> this is a succubus if I've ever seen one. <laughs> and I didn't sign a post nut. Mm. Post nut? So, post nut. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, we decided in the settlement agreement that I would get 600000 because I didn't want to take Why the do I him. have so much debt here to go through on your end? Where did the $600,000 go? When did you get the 600000 Two years ago. Okay, where the f*** is it? It's gone. Completely gone. Where the f*** oh. went to where? Uh, well, I bought a house. Before she even continues, this must be so painful. Obviously, the man can make money back. Obviously, he makes a lot of money. He may be able to make that money back in a short amount of time. However, however, it's the principle. How hard he worked, possibly. We don't know if he inherited it or whatever. But it's how hard he worked to get that money. And for, for her to just waste it. To just blow it. Just like a woman. And then she took everything. My house, my car. The money is disintegrated. Into nothing. And as a man, think how hard you would have to work to get that money and then just have some pink haired chick just blow it and not have a care in the world. It's like she doesn't care what it's not her money. Why would she care? It's the key thing about a woman loving a man's money. She doesn't need to care what she's doing with it. She didn't earn it, did she? And with the 600,000. With the 600,000. Okay, so it's not gone. It's not gone. Right. It's tied up. So, well, so I bought a house that was 330000 Okay. And I bought it, like, outright. So, like, it's paid in full. So, okay, I don't so have... So, it half the cash. Yes. Um, but then I bought it sight unseen. And mm. so, when we oh. entered the home... Oh, no. Yeah, I saw the outside because I drove by it. But oh, good, you when drove we, by it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we entered the home, though, uh, it was in shambles. This is drugs. Okay, you know, I made a point a while ago about the new Optimus bots that, you know, what is my purpose? Elon Musk is releasing. And I made a point that being a robot engineer would be a good job in the future because you're going to make so much money off fixing and rebuilding these robots for women. Yeah. Listen to how she just bought a house. It looked good from the outside. Jesus Christ. It's like, that's how women date as well. Oh, it appeared good. It's got potential. No, I can fix it. Yeah. But the key thing to understand, the outside of anything is always glistening. It's always the inside, because that's where, you know, you're going to be for the most part. It's always the inside that always needs to be looked at. So yeah, let's sell these women some androids. Just sell them some robots. It's called an automaton. And some of you may need to become some engineers. Damn. Because these women will buy these robots, wreck them, and have no care or understanding of how to even fix them. So, yeah, that's a new market. Yeah, robot engineers. Women are going to make you rich. We had to renovate it completely, like gut job. Um, so we saved some money by tearing everything down ourselves. But okay. the renovation was like a hundred thousand dollars. And I'm not sure where she bought the house. And if that three hundred thousand got her a decent sized house, 
But either way, the property taxes mm, is one thing buying a big ass house. The property taxes are another thing. So and simple small maintenance as well is something that you know a lot of people don't seem to think about. The renovation was like a hundred thousand dollars. And a man would work hard to build a life for himself to get a wife, a wife that in the end will take half, if not everything, you've worked so hard for. Damn, how? Day. And then she took everything, my house, my car.